It's even colder outside today, so I'm inside. And uh, I'll put that uh, Axelson uh, tailstock assembly off until we get it, you know, a little nicer. It could happen this afternoon, but they're not calling for it. I noticed that the sun came out, so that's a good sign, but it's pretty chilly outside. So anyway, um, I'm going to pick this up. This is that uh, Pratt & Whitney Steady Rest. For the axis and lathe and it's missing um, two parts this one screw and one lock and on this lock there's a radius here and it's a little bit bigger than a one and a quarter inch radius and that radius is there because it uh, locks these uh, one and a quarter inch fingers like from this side it would go on like that, then the then the bolt draws it in. So I gotta I gotta make this part, and I got set up in the jig bore, and I'll kind of do a review how I set up a jig bore a little bit, and it might be kind of fun. Okay, now I'll, I'll rotate the camera around over here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this in one video or or just how this is gonna work out. Let's see if you can see everything. Yeah, I, I think so. Now, when um, setting up a boring bar and a jig bar, you can um, square the head using the vertical ways. And what I got in here is a square head, an old uh, um, criterion. So you can center the machine. And I got a mark here, and I'll show you that. And uh, so first I'm going to square the head and I'm going to turn the dial towards the machine and have the, the cutter facing me. It's just easier. So, okay, here's number one. Square that head with the machine, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be super accurate. Let me get the camera off this. Here we go. Now, what I did is I got a piece of paper here. And this arrow here, let me get my pencil so I have my big fat finger in the way. This the spot right there on this line is centered with the spindle. This line here is uh, the radius of uh, one and a quarter inches, which is five eighths of an inch. And I can demonstrate that. See? <laughs> okay. So, okay. Now I'm going to bring this down. And I got that, you get that tool centered by getting it on that line. And I got it just a little bit ahead of the line because there's going to be some torsion from this cut. Okay. So that line there and uh, this mark, 5 eighths is the radius of an um, inch and a quarter. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, put the camera over here and we'll start cutting on this thing. All right. Well, let me see what I can do with adjustments here, kinda get some, uh... see we are with time. I think we're okay here. Okay. Get all these little things tied on this tripod. Now, here's the piece that, uh, let me get this over here. I just had a remnant of this metal and I turned it down and I got to do this radius right here. And what I did, I just went ahead and broke it with a file to get it going so I'm not working off a, a sharp edge like this, see? Just got it going. And it's in there. Okay, now I'm gonna get the get the cutter on over here and get set up. Now the the screws on the more jig bore um, are a hundred thousandths per turn, so it takes a while. <laughs> All right. Now, I got the digital readout set, 
at the right distance uh, set over to cut that. Uh, so I'll just get that over there. And uh, I'll get it at the right uh, place this way. Then we'll just have to feed it this way. And I'm doing it on this side because uh, this uh, dividing head, the, the chuck screws on so the forces will, will be uh, on the tightening end of it. Okay, I think I'll get pretty close on past. So I'll get this down there. And down it goes right. I'd say that's pretty Pretty root and tootin' good right there. Okay. How are we looking in the camera here? Let me see if I can get just a little bit closer, maybe. Okay. Now I'm gonna start up the machine. That's probably going too fast. See how we're looking at distance. Looking good. Here we go. Slow down a little. Let's try about 500. Keep that down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to come over. Make sure. Chuck jaw, we'll see what happens. But I can get it started anyway. Thousands for the first cut, see how she goes. Give it a feed of oh, about three thousandths. Bring her down. But uh, I'm in feeling about 30,000 or so. Go again.
seats are okay, everything looks good that way. Okay, I'll make another video. Um, thanks for checking this out.